Hello, my beautiful friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. So this is day four of our um, homeschool back to school series. Back to homeschool series, that's JL. My boys were ready to go to a, a play day right now, so it's a little chaotic. But I did want to come and just show you kind of my new plans for Fun Friday. And then I'm actually going to extend this because I did say that I was going to do a video of what worked and what didn't last year, um, last year, last school year. So I'm going to bring to you that next week. And then I also want to bring to you a back to school homeschool, a back to homeschool student interview, which I do every year. So today I'm just going to show you really quick my plans for Friday, uh, for Fun Friday. Things are different now. So I just wanted to show you what we're doing. And I love doing Fun Fridays, which means that I homeschool Monday to Thursday. And then Friday we take like a lighter uh, learning, you know, um, schedule. So let me just show you kind of what I'm doing for Fun Friday. So this is a book holder that I have set up on my living room area. And here's where I house all of our porch seat time books and just different books like our maps books and uh, different reference books. But I also have all of our devotionals here too. Um, so this is where I keep like our indescribable and how great is our God. We love these two devotionals so much. So we'll be doing a devotional in the morning before I start. we start on our fun Friday. Um, I have all my devotions here. We also have our story, Jesus Storybook Bible here to reference. Uh, we have the Radical Book for Kids. This is something we're doing for family devotions. And we also have a faith to grow on. So I'll just pick from any of these on any given day to do devotional. Okay, so these are my boys' new book bins. I seriously just got these from the Dollar Tree. And the reason I'm using these is to do something called Dear. It is something I used to do when Jail was in uh, kindergarten and first grade. And I kind of did it here and there throughout our homeschool years, you know, these past years. But now I'm starting to do it more often because they really enjoy it and I really enjoy it. And I needed a time set to do actual reading, like sitting down and reading all our books. So this is called Dear, uh, capital D-E-A-R. And it's a acronym for Drop Everything and Read. And this was a concept created by Ble Beverly Cleary. She's an author. Um, I love it. I love the idea of setting up a time aside to read and do reading al read alouds with your kids. And I really needed something to schedule, especially for Jonah, who's uh, my uh, struggling reader, to schedule a set time to do reading together. So this is working really great and is one of the things I'm doing for Fridays. And also for Fun Friday, I'm leaving some of our educational apps. My two older boys like Adventure Academy a lot, so I'm doing that for Fridays. I also sprinkle those throughout the week depending on the pockets of time. And then for JJ, who is my kindergartner, of course, I always do ABC Mouse. They love it, and they learn tons. So that's what they're going to be doing as far as their learning apps. And then JL also has typing. He will continue to do typing on Fridays. Another thing that I want to do and take the time to do on Fridays is because our morning time basket is shorter this year, I don't get to do a lot of activities that have to do with the um, actual theme for our morning time basket. So I'm leaving those fun activities between, I guess, crafts, videos, um, and anything that I want to do with the boys, I'm leaving some of those for Fridays. So that will be another way of kind of like do fun learning on Fridays and just uh, bring in our lessons together. Um, like a recap on Fridays, but not just with our morning time basket, but also with our main unit study, which is with gather round. Anything that has to do with games or any other activity, I can also leave for Fridays. And that's pretty much it. That's going to be our fun Friday. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next week with two more. I have two more coming and thank you so much for being part of this series. I hope that you subscribe to see more and I'll see you next week.